How's it going, Phil Lehart, JTEC. Uh, this week we're going over electronic engine diagnostic repair and verification of the repair. Uh, we're going to do a cylinder cutout test first, then we might get into three wire sensor troubleshooting. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned here, we have the cylinder cutout test, which we covered in a previous video. Uh, it shuts off each injector, which produces an audible difference in a visual um, difference, as, as you can see in the fuel consumption graph. And if you can hear and see, uh, number three injector did not shut off when told to do so. Uh, it stayed the same tone and wasn't consuming any more fuel, which tells me that number three injector needs to be replaced. With the cutout test, uh, we found out that the cylinder three injector is not firing properly, so we're going to have to remove it and then run the test again to make sure that it's operating properly. So here's just a quick, easy uh, removing the injector. Uh, we're going to simulate replacement. Uh, then we're going to run, run the cutout test again and verify that it fixed the problem. So here we are again, same as before, with the audible on and off of each cylinder. Before, when the sound did not change for number three, it did change this time, which is telling us that the injector replacement was the problem and now it's fixed. Now sometimes it's not going to be as easy as having a computer to tell you what's wrong uh, and you have to troubleshoot yourself. Which leads into common three wire sensor troubleshooting. First we do have to use a computer to get the codes of what's, and tell us what is generally wrong. Um, and here we have the engine coolant temperature voltage above normal or short and high. So after locating the sensor, a uh, basic check to make sure to make sure of first is whether it is getting its 5 volt reference through the harness. And it is, so we're going to move on to check the signal wire, which should be reading quite a bit higher than what we have. Bring us on to our next step. The next step is that we are going to short this. Uh, with our signal wire and common wire, and then we're going to reread the code. Uh, if it did not change, then the sensor itself is good, and we need to troubleshoot further. If it did change, then it is the sensor itself. But next step is to figure out if it's ECM related or harness related. So we create a short ECM between our the sensor signal and the common. Uh, I unfortunately did not get the changed code on tape, but it would read the opposite of what it shows here, what it did read earlier. So this tells us that our fault would be the harness, uh, it would be the harness signal wire. So after replacing the wire, we're going to ohm check each end at the signal and at the ECM connector end and thus verifying that the wire was shorted somewhere. All right, that'll do it for this week. This has been electrical engine diagnostics repair and verification of that repair. I'm Philip Lanehart. Thanks for watching.